here back at it again with the brand new vid um i wanted to thank you for this new little series i'm doing on my podcast because you know ever since i started it i do get a lot of emails on my facebook page at timmy zabriskie wondering um you know how people how to really go about doing this um whole podcast and whole web streaming and web show and whatever it is that you what you're really looking to do um uh, me, I, I always kind of consider this my whole thing to be a web show, but the more and more people call it a podcast, I'm like, all right, I guess it's a podcast, right? But um, to tell you a little bit more about me and my backstory, like my mom and my brother have worked in radio their entire lives. So, it, you know, I have always been attracted to, you know, the, the limelight and the talking and, and, you know, coming up with content and everything like that. And it really has inspired me to turn around and and make do this for myself too you know so i went to i ended up going to school i went to a community college that's right 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 by me i ended up transferring to brooklyn college and there i got like a sweet internship at viacom when i was at community college i got a job at clear channel which in the grand scheme of things i probably should have never quit there you know because i thought i was gonna you know go to the city and do very well for myself but it uh it didn't pan out so after you know my course going and taking a hard left uh there's a wrestling reference if some of you indie wrestling fans get that um after you know i took a hard left i i ended up working in sales for a while which is still in a sense very performance based if, if you don't think so yourself um you're definitely in the wrong field um but but besides that i i, I always was like you know shit man I, this is what i really want to do so little by little you know um i i kind of was killing myself on the inside being like man i, I really just want to get this job you know and it just never panned out so um eventually i started dating this girl ruru and ruru was at, at some point just i was bitching to her about it and she just said you know what tim like shut up you're a smart kid why don't you just figure out how to do it yourself? And then thus was born the Tim's Risky show. So, um, I, you know, I, I, I was like, you're right. Like, let's just, let's just make this happen. So I started doing a lot of research. And the big thing is, is obviously doing it on the, but on a budget. And I think that, um, um, that was always my biggest flaw. My previous, you know, work situation really had it so that I wasn't, bringing in a lot of bacon so i i didn't know what to get and i so so eventually i i came came up with the solid list and a, a list that i'm going to be really breaking down the more and more that we do this this series but the first thing i needed was a good audio capability so what i what i found on amazon and i'm going to put the link below and clearly by the name of this title um you're you came here for a reason is the Beringer podcast studio usb as you can tell by the picture here it comes with everything that you need as long as you have a computer right so in this it comes with the microphone it comes with the little mixing board and it comes with the usb um basic adapter and that's all you really need you know like now we're going to go through each one of the pieces here and there but the first thing is that it comes with are the headphones now here i have the headphones right here you know they were comfy and everything like that clearly i replaced them and the reason why i had to replace them was because all of a sudden the left headphone here decided no excuse me this is the left headphone here it decided that it wasn't going to work now what really confused me is that this is where the wire goes all the way through now i tried to take it apart i tried to you know look to see if there was any soldering i could do if there was something i could reconnect I couldn't figure it out. So I basically just had to shorten it. And that was about after after about a month that I had it, I would say. So I wound up getting these headphones here. Um, what what kind of headphones are these? These headphones are the Tascam. I'll put a link for these down in the description below because they were only $20. But for the $100 setup that, this, that the rest of this came with, it was great. It also did come with this microphone, this little um, dynamic microphone that's here. It is... XLR inputs on the back and what I'll do is uh, I'm going to cut to 
um, me using this microphone so you can actually hear the audio quality compared to this microphone here as well. So this is what it sounds like naturally. Now, typically, the way that I usually do it is I usually will keep the low end pretty high up, you know, give myself a little bit of that bass. And then I typically will bring the high end down. That way it kind of really accentuates the low end. But you do have those different controls. You don't have a middle um, on this little this little mixer itself. But this is uh, this is the extent. Now, the XLR cable that it does give you, um, it is about five feet. So it doesn't really give you a lot of reach. It's basically just for being right here. And as far as how the, the microphone stand goes, that's basically it. So if you can hear me right now, because there's a pretty big distance away, this is typically where you would see it. You wouldn't really be up to the thing like this, um, you know. But if you're this far away, this is what the natural sounding is. Because typically with these dynamic mics, you can't really get a lot of wide range as you would with this microphone here. I don't have them both plugged in. There's only one XLR pickup on the actual board itself, so remember that. Honestly, for the price point of a hundred dollars, a hundred and ten after tax, unless you have. Amazon Prime it was great so so I and then with it connecting to the USB it definitely was worth it now um, for hundred and ten dollars you literally do get what you pay for now my favorite part about the thing which is should be everyone else's favorite part is this is the um, the little mixer board the little six input mi mixer board that it comes with actually five input mixer board that it comes with but the thing works great i mean you know i have my microphone here i have my phone hookup which i will talk about definitely on another video and then i have with the usb i have it all workflowed and all wired now if you know anything about engineering at all you understand work workflow getting from a <laughs> to b is very essential for for making anything happen and I'm going to go into all the different technical things that I do on my podcast which um, you know I, I'm able to take phone calls I'm able to have people communicate with me through through um, Google Google uh, Hangouts excuse me I'm going to be able to go through all that different stuff through this new series that I'm starting um, but yeah so as far as the as far as the audio components, would I buy? Would I recommend the Beringer Podcast Studio USB? I think so. I think that it has a very strong base. As I as I did say, I did have to recommend. Um, I did have to replace the headphones. That's the only thing I really had to replace. The reason that I have a um, a new microphone here is because I wanted to get one that I could really attach to the microphone arm one that had a little bit better quality than what you just heard and and yeah but besides that like like things are things are great now on the next episode comment down below if you would rather have me talk about um, how I actually incorporate getting my own phone calls or if you would want me to talk about the camera that I use, um, because the camera was probably the more the most expensive thing that I bought as far as getting this this podcast all set up, but it's totally worth it. And you know that's probably gonna the biggest part of of this whole podcasting thing is finding the right camera and the right equipment. And whether you're just gonna do audio and stuff like that, um, all of this stuff is really important. Also, I'm gonna talk about. You know, I can talk about the different microphone compared to this one that I have, but I will say that this microphone here is is still great. I'm still holding on to it because um, when I did the the WWE 2K18 um, tournament that you can see the finals for in the video, if you if you scroll back a little bit, you'll see that I ended up still using this microphone. So it still works great and everything, but um, but yeah. So that's all I really got for you for this time, and uh, we'll take it from there. Talk to you later.